Hey, what up guys? Welcome to Game Over ENT and this week on The Walking Dead Wednesday. Did Krista leave Kenny to die in season one? All right, guys. So before you get mad at me, like how dare you talk this way about Krista? Let me explain what I'm talking about here because some things just don't quite add up. So let's go ahead and take it back to season one, episode five, and make sure you got Ben with you in order to get this particular scene right here. Ben! Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Now, Kenny goes down there to try to save Ben's life and Lee stays up top. And the only thing we need Krista and Omi to do is keep a lookout. Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Be careful. Now, Omi says that he can't really see anything from this point of view, but seeing that it's daylight, and that you have direct, unobscured view of the alleyway. I don't understand what he's talking about here. But, you know, anyways, you know, keep a lookout. Make sure no walkers are attacking us. Make sure we don't get herded or caught off guard in a situation that we can't get out of. That's their only job, Omid and Krista here. And yet, that's exactly what happens. We get into a situation that we can't get out of. And Kenny disappears into the walker herd. Now we know that Kenny's gonna show up again in season two, so somehow he escapes and get out of that situation. Still one of the biggest mysteries left over from The Walking Dead season one, how did Kenny get out of this alley alive? And when we get back to the rooftop, what the hell are Omid and Krista doing? They were supposed to be our lookouts. Omid is on the opposite side of the rooftop from that angle that he's at right there. There is no way he should not be able to see these walkers coming at us through the alleyway. It's like a big group of 10 plus walkers and he doesn't even want us. So that right there is mysterious. But even more mysterious is the fact that Krista is looking directly down at Kenny and Ben and me. So she used to see the whole situation. Maybe not as detailed as I can see it, but she should be able to see what's going on as far as walkers coming in from the left, the right or possible ways Kenny could have possibly escaped or survived that, or what really happened. I mean, what else could be distracting her at this time? Only thing she should be focused on is what's going down right below her feet. So what I'm saying is that Krista saw the whole situation unfold. She saw what happened to Kenny and didn't tell anybody about it, essentially leaving Kenny to die. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Now, I know some of you guys like, game over. What the hell are you talking about? Why would Krista do something like that? We should go. Well, guys, Krista has never liked Kenny. I remember in the beginning of episode four, her and King were arguing over Omid. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. We need to keep moving. He can rest after we find a boat and get out on the water. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. What? No, that's not an option. We can't- Lady, I've known you for all of 12 hours. You don't get to say we unless you mean just you and him. You know, since this all started, I've seen the best come out of a lot of people and the worst come out of a lot of others. Guess we know which side you came down on. There you go again. We. There is no we. There's us and there's you and your boyfriend slowing us down. Go to hell, Kenny. <laughs> you taking a look around lately? It ain't that long a trip. And then in episode five, we got that boating situation where they weren't really seeing eye to eye in that either. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. 
You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? So I think it's safe to say the situation, the uh, chemistry between them was not good. Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. They get an hour more tour at least. I understand. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny gone means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Just take care of her as long as you can. Then find her a family that's capable. We're capable. You and your girlfriend might want different things. That's enough. Fine. But you heard me. She'll be fine, Lee. So these are some heavy accusations I'm throwing at Krista right now. But let's give her the benefit of a doubt. Let's look at the situation how could Kenny have escaped this situation? I'm talking about the alleyway specifically and survived to make it into season two. The walkers aren't distracted. They're purely focused on Kenny right now and Ben and Kenny just fired a gunshot which will draw even more walkers to that location. Walkers are closing in on him on both sides so he can't get out through the alleyway. Maybe about the windows, but we didn't hear anything breaking and Kenny only has a gun with one bullet. It'll be hard for him to break those type of boarded up windows with his fist alone. So that's kind of hard to do. A manhole, maybe there was a manhole underneath Ben and he was able to crawl underneath that and uh, get out that way. But lifting a manhole takes two hands. You need two hands. Even Lee himself had to use Molly's uh, pickaxe in order to get that thing open. So th those things aren't easy to do. And when you're trying to fight off walkers at the same time, it's not gonna happen. You're not about to open that manhole without getting bit in some form or fashion somewhere. So the only way that Kenny could have survived this situation that I see is by hiding under Ben. Ben was already a goner. We already knew the walkers were probably going to devour his corpse. So ben, Kenny using the opportunity to hide under Ben and stay put and stay as still as we possibly can and as quiet as possibly can in order for them to, the walkers to have their fill, move on and then he actually makes his move from that point forward so essentially i'm saying that kenny pulled a glint that's the only way that i will say krista didn't see anything happening because because if kenny got directly under ben here then no krista could not have seen what happened to him or how he could have escaped or whatever but even that is also far-fetched as well so third option is telltale's writing I really don't think Telltale meant to let Kenny survive this. I think this was supposed to be final. They probably didn't think that they would use Kenny ever again in season two. That's why they gave him such a hopeless situation at the end of this particular ending. Now in the alternate ending where if you don't have Ben with you and Kenny actually goes through the roof of that building to, tr to uh, save Krista and stuff, uh, it's easy for him to get out of that situation. He could go to a room in the back, close the door, wait it out let the walkers lose interest and then walk away and then he can make his move from there that's how he can get out but this situation looks pretty pretty done for it doesn't seem to be any manholes or anything like that no secret passages underneath him so i'm not quite sure how kenny would have got out of this but i think it's an oversight by telltale here guys but yeah um i always questioned this scene when i first saw it and now i'm asking you guys what do you think did Krista see what happened with Kenny? And uh, she didn't let the group know about that? Did Kenny actually hide under Ben? Pulling the Glen like in the Walking Dead show? <laughs> Using his body as a distraction to keep the walkers busy while he waited out? Or did Telltale drop the ball? Not thinking that they would ever use Kenny's character again in upcoming seasons. That's why they put him in such an impossible situation. 
Let me know in the comments down below. I know I'm giving a lot of thought to this one particular scene, but uh, you know, it's fun to do sometimes. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you guys for joining me for the Walk of Dead Wednesday. Catch you guys next week for another one. Game over. Out. Katja wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl! Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny! What happened? really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him and it was just fucked. <laughs>